Long Island would be an Italian, and I was very attracted to their liberalness. And I wrote, I expect every young man born today to die a Unitarian. It didn't happen. So what I did, because I really, I really thought Christianity was simply the best religion ever invented, that its creator was so simple in his thinking that the philosophy was something that all of us could live with. What I had trouble with was its followers, by the clergy. Because what they did, in my opinion, over these 2,000 years, is that they messed about with it by adding stories that I didn't think Jesus either said or did. I didn't believe in the miracles. I didn't believe in supernaturalism. I didn't believe that uh, he was born of a virgin birth. I mean, these were just things that, as a rational man, made no sense to me. Now, I would never have superimposed those views on anybody. One of the purposes of the First Amendment was to keep the government off the bat with religion. That's why America, your America, has become the most diverse religiously tolerant country in the entire world. Because you're not allowed to set up any one religion and tax everyone else to support it. So that when people say, oh, well, we were founded as a Christian nation, I'm very quick to jump in and say, that is not correct. We were a Christ Judeo-Christian culture, but we've never been a Christian nation because of the First Amendment. It says the government may not support any religion. Consequently, everything from Catholic to Jew to Scientologist is encouraged to flourish, pay no taxes, and have as many members as they can afford. And that is how I thought it should be. So in my Jefferson Bible, so-called, what I did was sit down and take the entire, I spread out uh, four Bibles, uh, French, English, Latin, and Greek. And I was able to then piece through what, everything I thought Jesus didn't say or do and take it out. So he didn't turn water into wine, etc., etc. For me, this made no sense. For me, this had nothing to do with what he had talked about as the basis of a very, very good religion, which had to do with giving us a benign God that inculcated honesty above all. Honesty and truth and justice. And there was no, I felt there was no danger to science to believe as a Christian. So, presumably you would call me a nominal Christian. I was certainly not an atheist. Uh, a deist, by all stretches of, of the word. But, you see, what's so wonderful about the system is you can read my book and not hate me. <laughs> read it and say, well, that's interesting. I don't agree. Okay. okay, that's what debate is about. You know, I said in my first inaugural address that the fact that we differ in opinion does not mean that we differ in principle, nor does it mean that we impute criminality on either side. We are all Republicans, we are all Federalists. I said it and I believe it. Okay. Well, 